Frank William Hippolytus. He went throughout by Bill throughout his life. He was born uh, November 8, 1896 in Riverside, I believe. And then when he was um, when my grandfather Christian Julius Pilatus was drowned in the Snake River. My grandma Marie went to took her children to Granger, Utah, west of Salt Lake. And she lived with her sister and her children there. I think they both had three children. Bertha took care of the children, and my grandma Marie went to Salt Lake and ran around their neighborhood, and she sold butter and milk to make a living for them. Did he remember anything about his dad? He just had a slight memory. He remembered his father sitting at the kitchen table and, and he was looking over the table at my dad was looking over the table at his father that's about the only memory he had of him his own father so it was tough tough for him growing up without dad yes I'm sure it was my grandmother took good care of them. They had homesteaded, that was the word, <laughs> homesteaded a farm of 40 acres in Riverside, Idaho. And after my grandfather, Christian Pilatus, was drowned, my grandmother took the three children. Bill, Anna, and Chris had moved to Granger. And she raised her children with her sister there in Granger. And then when my dad was 18, they moved back to Riverside to the farm. <coughs> he and my grandmother farmed the farm. She was a hard working lady and uh, I can remember her coming to our farm in the fall and picking up potatoes and I would pick up the potatoes with her we had baskets it was hard for me to bend over so I crawled on the ground to pick up the potatoes and she just stood on our feet and she was really fast long potatoes. Um, what else was I supposed to talk about? My dad, I think. So do you know, did he go to school? He went to eighth grade. We have a picture of his graduation from eighth grade. And I also have a picture of my mother's graduation from eighth grade. Show you when we get through here. Okay. So, did, did he get any schooling beyond the eighth grade, or did, was no, it he just stopped there? That was, he had to work on the form, farm, so that was all the schooling he had. Wow. Did he go on a mission or anything? He went on a mission during the First World War after. My parents were married and they had Lorraine, Arlen, Edna, and Marlene. And they just weren't enough young men to go on missions during that time. So my father went on, a, they called it a short term mission, which was six months. He went to California for six months. Did he talk much about his mission? What he did? Well, he did, but <laughs> I can't remember too much about it now. He was in Bakerfield for 
least half of his mission. Taught a lot of people. My dad was a very good missionary throughout his life. He was, when he was on his mission, he had to hitchhike and to go where they needed to go. And so he would always pick, pick up hitchhikers. He would go to Pocatello to, to shop for clothes mostly. And on the way home, he would pitch up, pick up hitchhikers. And he would always tell them about the gospel. And I don't know if anybody joined the church because of that, but he, you know, there's scripture that says we should teach our friends about the gospel and he lived that very well. Cool. So do you know any stories about dating your mom? Him dating your mom? December, and they were married December 27th. I think that's right. I keep saying that, but it was December 9th, 1927. They were married in the Salt Lake Temple. <clears throat> my parents were married 31 years when my father died. It's not very long. Richard and I have been married 55 years now. That's the best they could do. My dad had his patriarchal blessing when he was young, when he was 18, I think. And in his patriarchal blessing, it said he would live to a ripe old age. But he worked so hard and had those heart problems that he didn't live to be very old. So how old was he when he died? 62. Okay. And was he, well, was he out working or what? Do you remember the experience? The... Uh, it was on a Sunday on February 15th, uh, 1959. He and Larry had been out in the field feeding the animals. And he was, uh, Larry came back and went in the house and my dad was still outside. And he just had a heart attack and died. So my mother wondered where he was and Larry went out to find him. He was dead. So that must have been really hard on the family. Yes, it was. Uh, I was 19 when he died, and I was working in Salt Lake. And Larry was 12 when he died. Well, that was hard on my mother, especially even Larry. I remember I went home for his funeral, and they let me have time off for a week from work so I could be at the funeral and help comfort my mother. Edna had two little boys at that time. And they lived in, Edna and Mom lived in Virginia. And she took the train with those two little boys and came out for dad's funeral. And she stayed with my mother for three months after my dad died and that was 
helpful for my mother. It was a comfort to her to have it in there. So that was a good thing. And Edna came from where when she did that? I think they lived in Virginia. Then Norm was getting his master's degree at Virginia Polytech, it was called at that time. And so she just came home to Blackfoot or to Riverside and stayed with my mother for those three months and then. After Norm was finished with school that summer, he came out to Riverside and took Ed and their children back home. Any other final thoughts about your dad? Well, I think I said he was a hard worker, didn't I? He worked so hard all the time. Got that from his mother. I think uh, she always said that saying that I don't mind this devil's workshop, and she believed that you should be busy all the time. So that carried on to the rest of her posterity. My dad, Bill, was a very friendly person visited with the neighbors and with everyone. I remember when we were finished uh, with Sunday school. Well, then they had priesthood and Sunday school in the morning, and then sacrament meeting was at 7 o'clock at night. And we always had to stay an hour after sacrament meeting <laughs> so he could visit people at church.